Hello, good people of Earth. It is Chris Sturschmidt reporting from Russell, Minnesota to give you extremely vital information to stay alive. It's November 11th, 2017. I'm going to start out with a few good tips to stay alive because they've been spraying us down for two decades with nanobots and heavy metals and other poisons and toxins that will kill a large amount of the people. You need to detox every day with strong organic lemons, at least a half a lemon, a real lemon, no, nothing artificial, and try not to put any sweeteners or sugar in it. If you do need a little bit, just put raw honey in it and drink it straight down. Then you could still have your coffee. But you need a bee complex, organic bee complex, and if you can get it in liquid, that's even better. And next best is the gel caps, because they're highly digestible in liquid form in the gel caps. Try to stay away from any tablets. And for... Um, if you're starting to get depression, which most people do and they don't recognize it, do not go to mental health wards. They'll get you locked up. They'll diagnose you and you'll never get a good job. Um, I am alleging these things and I want to make sure also to tell you this is my opinion. So you don't have to take my opinion. But we need to get laws repealed that are we can't advise each other. If we want to give each other mental uh, health tips or um, nutrition health tips, we should be allowed to do that. Also, you need to get it repealed that we cannot live off the grid. They're imprisoning people for 10 years or more for living off the grid. Come on, people, we got to get smart. You need, we need a lobbyist, a lot of lobbyists for the people. And lobbyists don't want to do this because they don't get paid. They get paid big bucks by the big companies. And then the big companies' laws get into enacted into law. So we need to stop this by getting lobbyists that are for, like, concerned citizens of the USA, concerned citizens of Britain, uh, etc. But um, maybe make everybody that wants their voices heard pay two dollars. Just and then if you got ten thousand people, they'll get an annual pay of two hundred thousand dollars. That should produce a pretty good lobbyist, and you can become a lobbyist. Also, you can become your own certified private investigator. So get certified, and other target individuals like myself start becoming a private investigator because to win a lawsuit. You need lots of evidence to document from a certified private investigator. They can be a character witness. They can be expert witnesses. So start becoming these things. I also want everybody to know I've contacted almost every personal injury and any attorneys. I've done internet searches that specialize in nanotechnology. There's only three that I found on the internet, and they refuse to even call me back. Why do you think that is? It's because they're getting paid by the big companies that are producing the nanotechnology. And they're only representing the companies that are putting it out and putting it in everybody's bodies to kill us and track us and torture us. Again, last night I was getting tortured. away my volunteer jobs now. They've got me on the federal exclusion list, which is illegal under U.S. Code 42, Section 1983. Still, I've not found an attorney that will take my case. It is Mark Mace, M-A-E-S, is the county attorney. Mark Mather is the uh, head sheriff for Lyon County that I live in. And I've also gone to the police and he has also refused to help and they're directly involved in reading my brain and harassing me everywhere I go till you do feel crazy. Notes, and then I'm going to show you um, telephone messages that the sheriff has refused to track down, but yet they can afford million dollar brand new build, government buildings with their own judges in them. Um, not one judge has bothered to even allow me an investigation. They dismissed all my cases that I've appealed and uh, um, directly um, submitted to the courts. Um, this is highly illegal. I have all the evidence I need. I, I've had my doctor reports. I've had private investigator reports. 
and I've had my um, lab reports proving that I've been poisoned, my food's been poisoned. Everybody should get some handheld device like this that can monitor the frequencies in their house. This one isn't a very good one. It's only from Walmart and it does not show. It's very hard to read, but it's a handheld device like this. Maybe some of the guys are more able to read these, but these are only $10, but try to get a better one that um, I don't even know if there is one that detects scalar waves, but we need one that detects microwaves easy, an alarm goes off, uh, radio waves, and uh, scalar waves. Um, make sure to get some type. This says it has just only ancient grains, high protein, chocolate smoothie to make you feel better, and stay away from meats because they've brainwashed us into blood sacrificing. That's what it is every time you eat. If God intended us to be meat tearing and eating creatures, we'd have all incisors, meat tearing teeth. We only have two. All the rest of our teeth are just for chewing, which should only be nuts, fruits, and vegetables. So remember what God really, how he really wanted you to live, and a lot of your health problems will disappear from that alone. So make sure you stay out of mental health wards by do not go down they put a brand new million dollar mental health institute when this is all you need to take away the winter blues vitamin d3 um, one of these little teeny tiny gel caps is so easy and they're highly digestible because they are liquid always make sure to get liquid it's highly digestible some of the tablets are not only hard and stick in your throat but they don't digest and um you can read about it yourself, but I've heard you can take up to 5,000 units a day. I only take one of these a day, and it takes away my depression. And stay out of the mental health wards. They will do more research on you. They'll diagnose you as depressant and other things, get you hooked on drugs that you can't get off of, like my brother, and then you die. Um, also, a, a very important one is a B, multi-B complex. You get the complex because then it digests. It needs all of the related areas, related vitamins in order to digest. Again, I devote this to my brother. He's created at his time back in 2008 the highest technology to the U.S. government I want to make available to the world. And it's the company he was working for, he did high military contract, was Boeing. And Boeing is one of the companies that are torturing me to death. We got to expose this and put these criminals behind bars. I'm now a 20-year victim of nanotechnology poisoning my food, my house. They've now killed another one of my cats. They killed my brother. My mother's now dead. All of illegal things that they keep doing to us. There's over 20 different diseases in the nanotechnology found in my body. I still get red sores you can see that I cover up. But I want my brother's technology to be available to the entire world. And this is a capital punishment, 20 years of torture in multiple ways. Not only the nanotechnology, they're using energy weapons, which are microwave, scalar, and radio waves, all which are detrimental to human beings. I'm now going to post some of my evidence. And I also want you to... Here, some of the people, the sheriff and the police refuse to even investigate, but yet they can, they all got high powered cars, they're reading my brains, they're extreme violation of privacy, they're torturing me, which is the highest crime on earth, and it's premeditated murder. These are capital punishments, and they all need to be charged with capital punishment. I'm asking other targeted individuals, I've called almost every attorney in the country under personal injury. It's also medical malpractice. It's a toxic tort. They say the next, next mass tort will be in nanotechnology. However, that does not help all the people that their lives have been destroyed. They've been injected. They're reading our brains and then following us everywhere go and filing false complaints. I've even gone to the head of the human resources at Southwest Minnesota, Minnesota State University and they're still participating. They even follow me into the ladies locker room where I'm dressing naked and they have the girls come in with cell phones pointed out at me as uh, that have microwave devices on them and also watch me even when I'm dressing. And then they make comments behind the wall that, ooh, what is she doing that for and what's she doing this for? Because I put magnets around my neck to try to reflect the radio frequencies that they're watching and seeing through my eyes. I want you to listen now to some of the... Uh, you have 20. 
This is a boxer who? Zygowitz. Oh. Yes, I've been noticing helicopters flying over, and like I let my cat out the other night, and uh, like they had some light beams come in, and you know, shining the light on my cat, and I've gone down the street, and I see helicopters flying overhead, and what's going on? Uh, they might have been looking for somebody. I'm Here's not my notice of claim. For yesterday. They've never contacted mm -hmm. me back. Um, I, you know, I don't know. It was they five months ago from the state area. attorney general yeah. of Minnesota. Please copy so, and do this to all, and we need these people I, need capital I like punishment. Been hanging over this neighborhood for some time, and I, I've noticed them. Is there? Are they? Are there something I did wrong? Or? No, no, no. It's uh, it doesn't concern you at all. They're probably just looking for somebody. Huh? Do you don't have any clue at all? Sunday, 6.01 p.m. Hi, Chris. Brian Bossler calling with the Mayor Council Office. Uh, sorry, I missed your call. Um, I did have a long conversation with uh, Sergeant Carr out of our Neighborhood Services Unit, and he did go out himself to, uh, to check the lights, and um, he's telling me they're not they're not in violation. So um, why don't you give me a call? We can talk about that. So you can reach me at 782-2208. Thank you, Chris. Bye-bye. Here's the most important page of perpetrators that need to be charged with capital punishment. Let's see if I can find it. my address. I just, it's just how stupid they are. But they're talking about my neighbor's light. They never fixed any of it. They're shining into my bedroom for 20 years. And they got pay-per-view on me so that anybody can pull me up and view me from the inside of my eyes, watch me naked. Perpetrators. Hi, Chris. This is Dave Sabal. Perpetrators. The radar facility in Phoenix. Uh, calling in reference to your low flying aircraft. Uh, we have several law enforcement here that. Uh, Perpetrators. Out, Murders. Uh, Premeditated murder. Premeditated torture. Health and safety, and uh, there's a lot of uh, law enforcement agencies flying around using. Premeditated both, uh, torture. A violation of the 19, the 1981, 1991 Victim Torture Protection Act with the 10-year statute of limitations. There's no statute of limitations on murder. Perpetrators, 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 diseases they injected me with. Conclusion.
Sunday, 10.40 p.m. Hi Chris, this is Dan Stein with the City of Scottsdale. Give me a call back about your lighting question. The city doesn't recommend individuals, but we can give you um, information about who in Arizona is the mass is the Arizona branch of the National Lighting Institution. And the current the agency called Arizona Section of Illuminating Engineering Society of North America. Um, their website is www.iesarizona.org. Monday, 2.49 p.m. Hi, this is Lance. This is my Lance sister. Is a call. In on it. Uh, all I know is it must, he must have had some kind of tantrum. Saying I deserve so everything down, I've gotten, be tortured and killed. I remember just murder attempts. Regular. Murder attempts on my life and I shouldn't but be upset. I had hung up on, so I didn't know what to do. Um, you know, you're meaner than the Billy Goat. And that's why they keep See who's laughing while I'm dying that I deserve it. I shouldn't be upset they're killing me and sexually assaulting me. See, my sister's laughing. See, she's part of it. She's part of the perpetrators. Here it is again. Here's the perpetrators. Here's the devils. So I get poisoned and tortured and sexually assaulted for, I'm on the federal exclusion list. They follow me at every job, even volunteer jobs. This is what your tax money is going towards. You need to fire the federal government, all of them. It's a violation of your freedom of expression, your freedom of speech, your, your, uh, Speech plus is symbol, symbolic language. A violation of your freedom of expression. And here's the judge that dismissed my lawsuit. Only the new one, there's four of them. Here's the new, the new Arizona federal judge that dismissed my lawsuit. Judge Stephen Paul Logan. First of all, it's against the law of interest, conflict of interest, to hire a military judge into a federal court. Excuse that. This is the most important one. This is the most important one. Pass this on to everybody. I want you to hear this again. Get the name. Get her name. Joyce Pletcher. They're now retired. I waited till they retired to give this to you. If you worked for the government, take a lie detector test to this. She's telling the truth. And they need a pension that's not going to be taken away from them. There are bad people in the Air Force. They're trying to get you to shoot people. Did you hear that? That's what the Phoenix program is. I'm the only person that said there's going to be another shooting. There's already been shootings in Phoenix. And these poor guys need to be released. The shooting at the movie theater, the guy that shot the lady senator in Tucson, they're victims. My aunt is dead already. It's my last message I ever have of my aunt. My mom is dead. Three of my cats they've killed. My brother is dead. I have nothing to lose. I want you to hear this again. They're living in Germany when she sent me this. From peacepink.ning.com. Worldwide victims of electronic torture. No touch torture. With energy weapons. I worked as a piano teacher. And... She was tortured and followed and harassed her whole life. They should not be retired and back in the USA. 
do not harass her. They need a pension that cannot be taken away from them. They need a victim witness protection program. And the FBI is in on this. Don't go to the FBI. They're freaking in on this. Most of them. You need to hear this one again. Take a lie detector test to it. My husband Fletcher. works for the Air Force, and the same thing is pretty much happening to me. It, if you work for the government, and they, I, I worked as a piano teacher, and I, I'm absolutely, positively sure there are bad people in the Air Force. They're trying to get you to shoot people. That's what the Phoenix program is. I know they dropped me and tried to get me to sign a piece of paper and told me I would. Thursday, 8.42 p.m. Hey, Christy. There's just a couple more very important ones. Hi, Chris. This is Airborne. They can't even track my telephone messages. They said they can only track landline messages. This is a landline phone. Everybody but me has a cell phone. They can't track the cell phone. They've cut down the trees on both sides of my property. I got satellites following me. I got airplanes going over my house all the time. And I'm not a criminal. I don't even own a gun. They probably got me so mentally diagnosed. They won't even let me have a gun. I'm a sitting duck. I'm five foot tall only at four degrees, and I can't go work because I got to sit home while they sexually assault me. And I'm on pay per view. This is what you've let, allowed your government to get to this point, this stage. They've kicked me out of the YMCA. I had ribbons all on the. the, the There's a couple more I want you to hear, just two more. And, and the sheriff and the police can't track that? Isn't that funny? They can't track it? Maybe it's because it's them. And they're gang stalkers. Listen to this one. Maybe you didn't hear it. He said, death comes to a TI, a targeted individuals. Somebody knows this guy. Come forward. Who is this guy? This is a death threat. The sheriff and the police won't help me. Because they're involved. They're paying these gang stalkers. They're right next door. They're giving them new cars. They're paying them good money to torture me to death. They've also done this on my YouTube channel. They put down, just commit suicide. Somebody knows this person. It's an African-American type guy. Sounds like a very... Like, like, uh, Tahiti. Tahiti. Yeah, it's, isn't that funny that the sheriff will do well, nothing about this or track him? We're always watching. This is what I got to put up with. Monday. And they're watching through my eyeballs. We're watching. We're always watching. Somebody knows these people. The sheriff and the police won't tell me who they are. They won't even track it. They won't even do an investigation. The sheriff and the police, they need to be fired. And they need to be charged with capital punishment. Would you like to have to come home when you're a single female? I did everything right in my life. I got four college degrees. I just...